match the following with their correct options students in this question we are given with two columns column one contains the oxides and column two contains their characteristics their behavior and we have to identify the correct code and for that first of all we need to know the characteristics of these oxides given in column one N2O student N2O is neutral oxide there are normally three neutral oxides one is carbon monoxide that is CO another is NO and the last one is N2O moving to next CaO CaO is basic oxide as metallic oxides are generally basic in nature moving to next ZNO ZNO is amphoteric in nature and moving to last SO3 SO3 is acidic oxide students that means the correct code we have to write A matches with 4 then B matches with 3 and ZNO that is C matches with 2 and the last that is D matches with 1 that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3 moving to the next question students which one of the following has maximum number of atoms students in this question we are given with four options and we have to identify that in which option number of atoms is a maximum let's start with option a one gram of h2 gaseous option b one gram of o2 gaseous option c one gram of lithium solid and option four one gram of ag that is silver solid students in all the four options we are given with the atomic masses of the given elements in first option we are given with the atomic mass of hydrogen then we are given with the atomic mass of oxygen followed by lithium and then silver that is ag so let's start the question the very first option is one gram of h2 so student first of all we will be calculating the number of moles number of moles is equals to 1 upon 2 moles of h2 and number of atoms is equals to half into 2 na atoms which is equal to na atoms moving to next next is 1 gram of o2 number of moles will be 1 upon 32 since the molar mass of O2 is 32 moles of O2 let's calculate number of atoms so 1 upon 32 into 2 Na atoms which is equals to 1 upon 16 Na atoms moving to next 1 gram of lithium number of moles will be 1 upon 7 since the atomic mass of lithium is 7 mole of lithium and number of atoms will be 1 upon 7 into Na the last option is 1 gram of Ag 1 upon 108 moles of Ag since the atomic mass of silver is 108 which is equals to 1 upon 108 Na atoms. So students it is very clear that maximum number of atoms are present in 1 gram of H2 that means the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to the next question which of the following is a basic amino acid students in this question we are given with 4 amino acids and we have to identify that which is a basic amino acid. Let us read the options first alanine tyrosine arginine and serine students for this question we need to know that when the number of carboxyl and amino groups are equal then that particular amino acid is neutral in nature and if the number of carboxyl groups are greater than those of amino groups then that particular amino acid is acidic in nature and when the number of amino groups are greater than the carboxyl groups then that particular amino acid is a basic in nature let's see the structures of the given amino acids you can clearly see number one is arginine and the rest of the three are already written this is alanine this is tyrosine and this is serine so the only amino acid among the given options in which the number of amino groups are greater than the number of carboxyl groups is number one that is arginine here 
there are three amino groups and there is only one carboxyl group that means number one that is arginine is a basic amino acid so the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question students let's read it the calculated spin only magnetic movement of cu2 plus ion is number one 5.92 bm bm is bohr's magneton number two 4.90 bm number three 2.84 bm and the last option is 1.73 bm student for this question we have to write the electronic configuration of cu2 plus and then we have to calculate number of unpaired electrons and then we'll be able to calculate a magnetic movement so let's write down the electronic configuration First of all, Cu has atomic number 29. The electronic configuration is argon 3d10 4s1. But here Cu is present in 2 plus oxidation state. That means argon and 3d9. Let's draw the orbital diagram. 9 electrons are there in the d orbital. So, there is one unpaired electron. We can clearly see there is one unpaired electron. Now, students, let us calculate the magnetic movement and there is a formula to calculate which is under root n, n plus 2. Here, n represents number of unpaired electrons which is 1 in this case. We have already calculated. So, 1, 1 plus 2 under root, this is equals to root 3 which is equals to 1.73 bm. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question students. Let us read the question. Maltose on hydrolysis gives option A alpha D glucose plus alpha D glucose, alpha D glucose plus beta D fructose, alpha D fructose and beta D fructose and the last option is beta D glucose and alpha D fructose. Student for this question we need to know that maltose is a disaccharide which is composed of two alpha D glucose units and here is the structure of maltose you can clearly see C1 of this glucose units is making a glycosidic linkage with C4 of this glucose unit. So, it is very clear that maltose on hydrolysis gives two alpha D glucose units that means the correct answer is option number A. Moving to the next question 